check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Hello everyone! Welcome to Junior High School! Excited ka na ba for this brand new chapter? I hope you're able to enjoy the break! Heto na naman tayo sa panibagong taong pampaaralan. Are you ready? I am your teacher and I am here to help you with your English 7 lessons. I know these videos I prepare can help you understand your lessons in English even more. Kaya mag-subscribe ka na at manood lang palagi dito sa aming channel. Huwag kang mag-alala, madali lang dito. Our first lesson for this school year is about completing an analogy. May idea ka ba about it? Let's start! The target most essential learning competency for this video is Analyze relationships presented in analogies Let's start our lesson with a simple exercise Fill in the blank with the correct word Brewed coffee is to cup as chicken soup is to Alam mo ba ang sagot? If you know how sure are you that your answer is correct? Let's analyze. Simulan natin sa relationship ng dalawang naunang salita. Brewed coffee and cup. Relationship. Brewed coffee is something that we drink in a cup. Cup is what we use to drink brewed coffee. Now, what about the chicken soup? Chicken soup is what we eat in a... What is the word that we are looking for here? Saan nga ba natin tamang inilalagay ang chicken soup? Siyempre, just like what you see, soup is eaten using a bowl. Sa totoo lang, madali lang naman talaga ito. Madali ito once we see the connection or the relationship of the first pair of words to each other. Gagayahin na lamang natin ito sa kasunod. But sometimes, it can be a bit confusing para sa iba, lalo na kung hirap silang makita ang connection ng mga salitang nabanggit. This is called analogy. So, what is analogy? Analogy comes from the Greek word analogia, which means proportion or equality of ratios. Analogy explains the relationship between words and ideas. It may be a comparison to show similarity between two or more objects on a certain limited number of features or details. The relationship may be shown in various ways. Verbal analogy can measure one's reasoning ability. All analogies consist of four parts which bear a relationship with one another. These can be words, numbers, short phrases, or illustrations. Here are some tips which may help you complete an analogy successfully. Number one, read the analogy as a sentence. Number two, express a relationship between the first two words. Then substitute the third word for the first and figure out a suitable substitute for the second word. Number three, express a relationship between the first and the third words by substituting the second word for the first and figuring out a suitable substitute for the fourth word. Now, here are the different types of analogy. Number one, Opposite analogy Crying and laughing are the example of opposite analogies as these two words are opposite in terms of meaning. Now, can you guess the missing word? Hot is to cold, 
as yes is to Answer is no What about Good is to bad as heaven is to The answer is hell Now, let us proceed to the second type Number 2 Object and Classification Analogy Objects can be classified in the group. A same object can be classified in different groups. Spoon is a kitchen utensil, while a trowel is a garden tool. Boots is to footwear, as swimsuit is to swimwear. Barong is to men, as barotsaya is to Women Number 3 Object and Related Object Analogy Plant and seed is the example of object and related object analogies. Both are related to each other. Spoon is to fork, as pen is to paper. Flower is to vase. As picture is to frame. Number 4. Cause and effect analogy. This is where two things are related with each other in terms of cause and effect. One is the cause and the other one is the consequences of the cause. Like fire and burn, read and learn. Virus is to illness, as carelessness is to accident. Number 5. Degrees of a Characteristic Analogy This analogy mostly comprises the adjectives, but not for all cases. For example, tired and exhausted. Cold and freezing. Glad is to happy, as sad is to lonely. Number six, object and group analogy. Where several objects together make a group is known as object and group analogy. For example, trees and forest. Musicians is to band, as teachers is to faculty. Number 7. Problem and Solution Analogy Each problem has a solution. Here, two words related to each other are used in the problem and solution analogy. For example, tired and sleep. Hungry is to eat, as thirsty is to drink. Number 8. Effort and Result Analogy Effort and Result Analogy where one word represents the effort and the other one is the result. Example, Paint and Painting Write and Letter Plant is to harvest, as cook is to meal. Number 9. Object and Function Analogy Object and Function Analogy is where one word is object and another one is the related function. Keyboard and to type is an example. Printer is to print as television is to to watch number 10 performer and action analogy in this analogy both the performer and action are mentioned for example painter and paint singer is to sing as actor is to Remember that there are still other types of analogy out there. 
You just have to be keen and eager in analyzing the relationships and connections of these words or phrases, numbers, illustrations to see the pattern. This will definitely sharpen your mind and improve your reasoning ability. So did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed! See ya!